Electric grandma, he play electric guitar and he plays so well. You know we make him a star. He play electric guitar, you know we make Sat dedicated to your favorite set. Ride your bicycle, ride your tricycle. Uncle Jesse's there, Uncle Jesse's there. Tell me about sitcom core. Well, sitcom core is my lifeblood. It was invented out of coined, if you will, by me out of being sad, and then it became something of joy. God damn, it's bright out here. And anyway, um, and so uh, I started making tapes and everything, and then I took my show on the road in 2004. And um, where'd you go? Where'd I go? I started off in Cleveland. My first show was in Cleveland, and it was I sort of won this radio contest, cassette fest, fest, and uh, that was great. And ever since then, uh, you know, it's been tearing up around here in Columbus. <laughs> and you know, the people love me and everything. And, uh, sitcom core. Definition-wise, basically, his songs uh, revolved around TV shows from the early eight, for the late '80s rather, more so in the early '90s. Sort of uh, when I started around that time in 1995, writing these songs, all these shows were still on, like Full House, which has since then been saturated. John Samos is a household name. Uh, He's on ER, and the Olsen twins, you know how they turned out. Treehouse. How the fuck are you feeling? So it is maybe maybe I'll have to move on, you know. Like uh, I got Tony Danza here, and uh, he was uh, subject of a song that I'm, one of the new songs I'm doing, which uh, I might abort actually because I don't know if I like it. So that basically sums it up. I'm just about being silly and and, and sexy. Ride your bicycle, ride your tricycle. Danny Tanner's there. Danny Tanner's there. So tell me about um, some of the props that you've used and what's happened with your props. What's happened with my props? Uh, well, the first time I had a show, we uh, just went to the mall, got everything we could, spinning lights, ball machine, and ball machines call out, cause a lot of problems for clubs. Oh! It's like uh, I can't use it at certain clubs. It's uh, it's 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 uh, made floors floors are very slippery, and. Uh, but for the most part, people like it. They like to play in it. And uh, I've had spinning lights that have been broken uh, many times. Um, UDO, sort of uh, disco light, even though I don't like disco. But by the way, that was cool smoking man interview. And uh... thank you guys. This day, Tanner had a wife. Danny Tanner had a wife. Her name was Pam. She got in an accident. Oh. Me and Joe Peppercorn from the Wilds were wrestling around because he uh, used to be someone who would disrupt my shows, uh, and so he would he tackled me and we fought and it broke and. Uh, my live band member, who's not pictured today, Mary Alice, my wife. Uh, she screamed. I had uh, an inflatable dolphin that got clawed and uh, ruined at about my fourth show by some drunk girl who then went outside, pissed herself and cried, so that was kind of cool. Like, I was telling her, uh, I was telling people in the crowd that, like, uh, about what happened to her and how that justice was served. And then I had an inflatable totem pole that since died. It's been used as a phallic symbol by myself and uh, other people, and it sort of used to give on blow blowjobs and stuff like that. 
Okay, a prop yeah. steam. Well, that that you run into problems with people being available or actually, you know, wanting to do that. You know, like I've but had. Sometimes you gotta ask. <laughs> well, yeah. Sometimes I gotta ask, and I actually. Uh, I've had people like do things like that, like uh, Jay Rhodes has come out and acted a fool like before I've gone on, and you know, and like I said, Joe Peppercorn would get involved in my show, and and uh, like people riding by on a bike think I'm famous. Tell us about other club incidents that Cl might other club incidents. Well, I've been officially banned from three clubs, uh, two in Columbus, one in Dayton, and I'm not going to mention any names. So I don't want to start anything, but like. Um, I'll tell you about the one in Dayton, uh, part of my show, uh, was a cover of, uh, Khalif's song, Milkshake. Like I've invited you before, if you want to come step to this, if you want to get knocked the fuck out, you fucking step up here. Ooh, I like that. Never mind that. Alright, this song is by Khalif, it's called Milkshake. And part of that, you know, my performance is pulling down my pants, showing my ass to everyone, sort of, you know, expressing my sexuality, which I like to do a lot of times on stage. And All right, I don't want to cheat anybody. My milkshake brings all the boys to the yard. Their life is better than yours. Damn right, it's better than yours. I can cheat you, but I'd have to charge. Sort of, you know, expressing my sexuality. <laughs> Thank you, guys. I like to do a lot of times on stage, and and uh, they basically turned the PA off on me and told me to get lost. And it, it started like this big outside argument in the freezing cold with the club owners because. And then I found out later someone told me at Andy Man's that uh, part of their complaint was that they saw my junk. I'm gonna put my pants down. I.e. my uh, genitalia, and which is a complete lie. The future, I'm going to have this next album, Stenographer. It's going to be produced by uh, Kramer, indie pop legend, who's produced Jad Fair, Half Japanese, King Missile, worked with Ween. And uh, it's it's going to be some hard-hitting, sort of uh, more assertive, you know, dance music, maybe. Like, uh, not, not sort of like uh, dance music in the sense of, you know, I don't know. It's gonna be like pop songs, but more dancier beats, I guess. Not like dance music per se. And uh, and so I'm excited for that. And uh, I'm excited to you know come come across as a more sexual, powerful being than I even have. It's gonna be it's gonna be quite controversial, and you know people are probably gonna you know come come ill from it. You know while I get ill, so. This is Sitcom Core. My name is Elisha Grandmother. The song's called Wow by Elisha Grandmother. Wow. Uh, it felt really good out there today. <laughs> Elisha Grandma, he play electric guitar and he plays so well. You know we make him a star. <laughs> he play electric guitar, you know we make him a star. Elisha Grandma, you know that he will go far. This is not a dream. Electric grandma, he play electric guitar and he plays so well. Guitar says, hey, 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 he play electric guitar. You know it make him a star. Electric grandma, you know that he will go far. Electric grandma, he play electric guitar and he play it so well. You know it make him a star. He play electric guitar, you know it make him a star. Electric grandma, you know that he will go far. And there you go. Thank you, studs and studettes.